What's up Amazon sellers? If you are just starting or about to start selling on Amazon and you want to be spending more money on stocks instead of paid for software, then this is the video for you. Today, I'll be showing you all the tools you should be using if you want to find profitable products to sell on Amazon without spending money on software. So stay tuned. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson, and I've been selling on Amazon now for four years. Now, I'm on a mission right now to do one million pounds by the end of 2021. And if you wanna see about my journey, including my profits and how I'm doing it, check out the video up here where I break it all down step by step. But enough about me, what are we gonna go through today? First things first, number one, I'm gonna go through my five alternative tools to use when sourcing, what they are, what they do, and why I like them. And then finally, number two, I'm gonna go through my top tips and tricks which are really gonna help you out. Now, quick question for you, what top tools are you using in your business which aren't costing any money? Let me know down in the comments below. Maybe there's something that you know that I don't that I need to be checking out. Let me know in the comments down below. So first things first, before I go through the top tools, what I'm gonna do is jump onto the computer for every single one of these tools, talk it through, share with you, give you a screen share of what it does and why I like it. So first things first, for our first tool, we've got the right click Amazon search. Now, you might be asking the question, what does this tool do? Well, quite simply, this tool directs you to an Amazon page once you select the text, i.e. highlight the product name and right click on it and the tool immediately shows you the results on Amazon. Now, let's jump on my computer and see why I like this tool and I'll give you a screen share of what this tool does and obviously my top tips. Okay, so I've just loaded up here into walmart.com and the one thing I will say is I am in Mexico right now, so this is showing me the price in Mexican pesos, hence why this tool right here is, or Walmart is showing me it's $6,890, which obviously isn't right. So it's in Mexican pesos, not US dollars, if anyone in the UK is watching. Now, this tool that I really like, you can literally come over, highlight some text, right mouse click, and then click search Amazon for the Lego, no, search Amazon for that text, which I've just highlighted. If I click on that, what's gonna happen is it's gonna take that text and it's gonna search it up here. It just allows me to do that manual searching process of finding the same product in Amazon so, so much quicker. Now, I love that tool. It's an amazing tool and it just speeds up my processes. One thing which I will say is if you are interested in downloading these tools and obviously more, do make sure you have a look down below. What I'm gonna do is drop a link where you can download all these tools. I'll share a link to all the extensions. It's just gonna help you get these free tools faster. So have a look down below. What I'll do is I'll drop a link where you can get access to all of these tools. And obviously it's just gonna help you out sourcing for deals for free. Okay, now this leads me nicely onto my second free tool, which is Amazon DS Quick View. This tool is quite useful, especially when sourcing, because it enables you to know the number of FBA sellers and if Amazon is on the listing, as well as the sales rank, which is a good guide to sell volume. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump on the screen share and show you what this does. So I've just typed in here Lego into into Amazon and what you're going to see is just underneath these these results you're going to start seeing another box pop up which you can see here saying loading rank what that's doing is then going into the listings and getting the information so you can see here we've got one which says sold by Amazon and two FBA sellers and the rank as well and the category and the ASIN this little box or these little boxes here they are Amazon DS Quick View and I really really love that now, what I really like about this tool is that you don't need to open up the listing to see if Amazon is on the listing. And also it shows you the number of sellers and the sales rank. Quite simply, this tool makes your sourcing easier and faster just by seeing some key information or key facts about a product before you load it up and before you do your final checks. So really, really efficient, helps you out there. That leads me nicely onto top tool number three, the Amazon FBA calculator. Okay, so, so far we've gone through the tools that can speed up your sourcing. We now proceed to the next point. How do you know if the deal you've just found is profitable or not? Well, this leads us to our next tool, which is tool number three, the Amazon FBA calculator by Amazon Scout. 
Now quite simply, this tool is another Chrome extension which calculates profits, ROIs, net margin. This also displays the feeds associated with Amazon's data and it takes into account your profit and ROI calculations as well, just to help you out. So let's jump on the computer now, give you a walkthrough of this tool and show you what it does. Okay, so we're just gonna load up now into one of these Lego products and it will just load up in the normal process. Now, once this finishes loading, what I will say is you come up to up here and you can see I've got the Amazon Scout FBA calculator. Click on that, what's gonna happen is you can see a little menu and then click on Run Amazon Scout. Now, what it will do is it will load up the results. Cool, there we go. So what you're gonna see now is this loads up the Amazon calculator. And what it does is you can put in the cost of your product up here. So let's just say, for example, right now, I wanna drop in, I don't know, $20, for example, in there. What it's gonna do is put in my information and then work out the fees and then work out the net margin ROI and obviously estimated profits based off its sales per month, which is really great to know. I can also put in additional costs like my shipping costs, let's call them $5, maybe taxes, etc. other things that I'm gonna do. So really simply, we've got the buy price or the sale price, sorry. It's got the fees, the weights, and obviously it's gonna calculate my profit per unit and my net margin and see if I'm interested, my ROI just helping me speed up there. Now this tool is really user friendly and you know what, it's free and that's why I like it because it's a free tool that's just gonna help you out sourcing. So do check it out, do use it, do try it. It's gonna help you get those profit and ROI calculations that are gonna help you out. Now for tool number four, we've got restricted or hazmat, that's the name. And this will help you in checking whether an Amazon listing is hazmat or restricted and if you can actually sell it well. Let's jump on the computer and show you that now. Okay, so we're just loading back up again into this Lego product. And what we're gonna see is on the right-hand side, we'll see hazmat and restricted load up. And what it's gonna do is gonna check in our Amazon seller account, number one, if we can sell the product, and then number two, if this product is a restricted or hazmat product that we can't ship through the FBA program. So you can see here, it's just loading up now, restricted or hazmat, and it's doing that search. What you do need to do is be logged into your seller central, so I am, and you can see this product is one, not restricted, and then number two, it's not hazmat either. So if I wanna sell this product right now, I can, and I can ship it through the FBA program, because it's telling me it's not hazmat. So really, really useful there. And if you ever follow any of my stories or any of my videos, I always talk about the five fundamentals of sourcing for deals. And when you're doing a deal analysis, which is talking about, can I sell it, eligible to sell, is it hazmat? And then it's profit, ROI, and sales per month. And these, this tool helps you with two of them. So really, really useful. Now, what I like about most of this tool is that it can quickly tell you whether or not a product is hazmat or not. And with that, it just makes your sourcing and deal analysis so, so much faster. So we've just speeded up the process of matching products to Amazon. And also now we've talked about tools which help you in understanding and calculating the profits really well and speeding up that process. And this leads me nicely onto tool number five, which is about understanding what's going on about a product in the past. So you might be asking what this tool is. How do you understand what's going on in the past? Well, quite simply, by using this next tool is going to help you understand what's gone on in the past, because if you understand what's going on in the past, it's going to help you make good future predictions about what is likely to happen. Now, my next tool and my final tool, the fifth tool, is the Keeper Free Chrome extension. So let's jump on the computer now and talk about that. Okay, so I've just come into the same product we used before, and let's scroll down and show you what the Keeper Chrome extension does. So if you scroll down here, you're gonna see a Chrome extension that is add-on that adds into your Amazon product page when you're looking at it. Let me zoom in and just give you a bit more information about this. Now, if you follow any of my videos, I love Keeper, I think it's an amazing tool, but I will say this is the free version. So let's talk about why we like this now and why I recommend it for you for a free version. So quite simply, when you come in along the bottom here, you've got the date and you can zoom out down here to see time, three months, a year, or all time. Now, I kind of go through lots and lots of analysis of these and lots of videos, but the one thing which I'm gonna recommend you look at now is have a general look at what this price has been, the new and the Amazon price over time, and compare that to what the price you're seeing, if we kind of zoom up, up here today. And the reason why I say that is if the price you're seeing today is similar to what the Keeper chart showed over time, say for example here, you can see that it has historically been roughly $129, over time, and you probably say that that's about the normal price of this product. 
But if you're seeing that today's price is maybe very high in comparison to historical ones, or maybe today it's an anomaly and it shouldn't be used at that price, or maybe it's the other way, today's price is particularly low, and maybe you can add a bit more onto that price. But just by using this tool, such as Keeper, allows you to see what's gone on with that price over time, and allows you to say, is today's price an accurate representation of what's historically been true, or is it today an anomaly? The other thing you can also do is see if Amazon has been on the listing by looking at the yellow or orange shaded area over time and to see if Amazon's coming and going, or if they've historically been on it all the time and today they've come off, or maybe they've never been on it at all. A lot of sellers don't like competing against Amazon and using something like Keeper allows you to see if Amazon's been on the listing or not. Now, I'll say it again, I love Keeper. I think it's an amazing tool. It shows you so much information. And if you can understand what's gone on in the past, you're probably gonna have a very good idea of what's gonna happen in the future. So do check out Keeper. I think that's gonna be really useful for you. So there are my top five free tools that are gonna help speed up your process and all for free finding deals. Now, before I get onto my top tips and tricks, I just wanna take a moment out to talk about sourcing for deals. Now, even with these tools, sourcing for deals, finding deals is still a super time consuming process. It takes time. This is just part of the nature of the game that we're doing. But if you are like me and you really value your time and you want to speed up what you're doing and grow your business quicker, look no further than Fast Track FBA Leads. This is quite simply a service that I've created whereby we've got a team of VAs using paid for tools such as these, but also much, much more advanced. And what they're doing is they are going out there seven days a week in the UK and the USA looking for online arbitrage deals. Now we put them all of these deals onto our web platform every single day. You can come in, you can have a look at the ones that we're finding, see which ones are right for your business and then unlock them, go and buy them from supplier and resell them on Amazon for a profit. Now we have an amazing system whereby we can convert tokens into deals and you can see all about it by having a look down below the Fast Track FBA leads. Check it out, we have a team of VA sourcing all the time and loads of clients are really, really happy with the service. So do check that out. If you wanna know more, have a look at Fast Track FBA leads down below. Now that leads me nicely on to my final chapter, which is my top tips for you. Now you might be asking, what is my take on free tools? Well, yes, they save you money. Although if you asked me to suggest if you were to buy anything that I'd recommend, what would I say? I would say get a calculator. And the two options that we probably suggest in Fast Track FBA are either FBA Multi-Tool or Bybot Pro. Now you might be asking why, or well, quite simply, they include something like the Keeper chart. It's not exactly Keeper chart, but it's the same data. And it means you don't have to get the Keeper plugin as well. We love Keeper, we think it's amazing. And the one thing which I will say is if you wanna learn more about how to analyze Keeper charts, Keeper analysis, check out my link to a video up here where I talk all about it. And that's part of a three part mini series where I explain how Keeper works. Coming back, if I recommend this, anything you buy, if you were to invest in one tool, get a calculator and one of those two, really, really good. But hey, if maybe you're looking at investing in maybe some more tools and maybe not sure what order you need to do it in, well, what I will say is have a look down below. I'm gonna drop a free guide to all the top tools that we have, that we recommend, and in what order you should be getting them. Now, in addition to this, I dropped my affiliate links in there whereby you get additional free trials and extended trials that's gonna help you out. So have a look at that free guide down below. It's gonna recommend what top tools you should be downloading or using at what time, and also as well, what order you should be getting them. Just gonna help you out. Now, what I will say is if you're looking at these free tools, Tools, you're probably thinking about getting started, finding deals on Amazon. So what would I really recommend? I'm gonna drop a link around here to a video called Amazon Arbitrage for Beginners. It's just gonna help you out getting started on Amazon, growing your business quicker. But what I will say is if you've liked this video, give me a big thumbs up. And hey, if you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. But for me, Thomas Parkinson and Fast Track FBA, thank you very much.